Hey all you people and welcome in to I guess another new series. I'm introducing a lot of new series because I got a PS2 uh, thing working. So I'm introducing a ton of new PS2 series. Um I've been trying to get this game working for a month on um the PS3 emulator, but for the life of me I can't figure out how to get motion controls working. And I did not know that this game was on PS2 until I was just like looking through oop. Until I was just like looking through. But Yeah, if y'all don't know what Bakugan is, sorry, I'm grabbing the charger cord for a headset here. Very unprofessional in my opening. Um if y'all don't know what Bakugan is, it came out like 2007, I think. And it's basically, I used to have one on my desk. Where'd it go? Huh. It's weird. Hold on. Oh, I dropped the remote on me. Um, so it's a bunch of these like little balls and it was in paired with like sets of cards and there we go found something metal under my desk uh when the card some of the cards were magnetic some of them weren't um but when you stuck one of the balls to them to one of the cards it would open up and then you could and then you would fight them with your friends and stuff it was it another like Yu-Gi-Oh Pokemon ripoff yes it was Oh well. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the basic premise of Bakugan. Uh, I don't know. I actually haven't. I've I've uh, started a file just to like make sure that uh, stuff works. But as we can see, I have zero minutes of playtime because I have done zero of the story. So I think that I'm just gonna hop into the story. Hope it gives us some more backstory there. I'm hoping, I'm hoping anyway, if not, I can also, um, provide a bit more, uh, just cause I know it, but, yeah, this is another one of my childhood games, so, I hope that y'all enjoy it as much as I do. Uh, I haven't played the PS2 version, I played the Wii version and the DS version. Clarifying that now. Oh, uh, name. Guys. Eh. Yeah, we'll put that full skies. All right, attribute. I spent a lot of time thinking about this. It's not gonna be Pyrus. It's not gonna be Subterra. Subterra the and of Earth. Earth. and it's not gonna be Darkus. Those were the three I rolled out immediately. When I was a kid, Ventus, Ventus was always my favorite. I always played with Ventus Bakugan. Um, I had a few darkest that I would throw in every once in a while, hence this one. Uh, you can see the darkest symbol. I'm not sure if it's actually picking up and clear enough, but um, we could go aquos because that is also channel colors, and that's currently the background color actually. But that's a red herring because we are going to go with chaos. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go with Chaos. Uh, I really like the background look of this more. It kind of has the it has the white of the Chaos, but also like the yellow of the Chaos, if that makes sense. Just the light of the Chaos, I guess. So we are going to go Chaos. Um, let's see. I'm not that dark. Um, <laughs> I probably put it that one. That's about what I see myself as. Um, hair. Let's see, what is my hair normally look like? Hmm. Not a lot of options. You can tell this game was made in 2009 or so. Um, I think we're gonna go with this one. And we're gonna make it black. Uh, eyes, I hate to tell you I don't really want red eyes. Oh, what was that? I don't like that. Um, do I stick with those eyes? Like, there isn't really a reason for me to switch eyes. All the rest of them look so derpy. <laughs> All right, brown eyes, mouth. That I don't like that. No, doing that. <laughs> Shirt. Okay. 
Um, could go t-shirt, could go like that, could go vest, could go that. I think we're gonna go with the hoodie, actually. We could go white on white, but I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna lean into the background a little bit and go the yellow on white. Um, let's see, those are like sweatpants, sweatpants, what are these? I wish I could like see around a bit more. I'm gonna select those for now. Um, let's see, which pair, oh yes, wear those, um, let's see what these look like. Oh, those still have red down the sides, even if they're changed color, got it. Um, so let's not do that. Let's see, do we want to have those, or do we want to, uh, that's a blue. Let's do these. Yeah. <laughs> This guy <laughs> looks so derpy, but I'm okay with that. We're playing into the color scheme. Yeah. I I don't know if we can change our clothes later. Um, but I kind of hope we can. Alright, backstory please, so that I don't have to sit here and explain for half an hour. Okay, no backstory. Okay, this is this is Naga. This is Halji. These are the two antagonists of Bakugan. Um, I'm concerned this is gonna start talking. No subtitles. Um. Okay, so. Backstory, all the Bakugan came from a separate dimension called Vestroya, which was controlled by two different orbs, the Silent Orb and the Infinity, or the Silent Core and the Infinity Core. And I guess that Silent Orb is a iteration, is like a smaller form of the Silent Core. Uh, basically, the Infinity Core is a source of all good, the Silent Core is a source of all bad. Um, Hauji is a, is a human who has gone to Vistroya, and Naga is a Bakugan who doesn't have an attribute, one of the six attributes, so he's like, I feel disrespected. Uh, we'll learn more on that in a sec. Uh, I feel disrespected, I'm, I'm gonna take over. The Doom Dimension is basically the Bakugan afterlife. Um... Yeah, I don't know how else to explain that. It's the Bakugan afterlife. So. Oh, okay. Meanwhile on Earth. I think we're actually going to get some more story. Okay. No way. I wasn't making fun of you guys. Admit it, punk. <laughs> you were making fun of the way I battle. Right, Akira? Is there a way for me to turn some titles on? What's your problem, kid? <laughs> Nothing. I just like Bakugan. <laughs> well, so do I. And now I'm gonna show you how it's played. But he looks very derpy. I don't even know all the rules yet. Well, you're about to learn the hard way. Teach him a lesson. I do Shuji. like how the mouth has Back no depth off, at all. Huh? This Dan? is Dan. This is none of your business. Get lost. This is the protagonist of the hey, of the TV What's series. Whoa, Dan from the Bakugan Brawlers. You're all over the net. So, you need any help? Are you serious? That would be awesome! No problem. I'll show you some of my old tricks. And if you're lucky, I won't even charge you. <laughs> I realized very recently that he's the same voice actor as, um... What's his name? The... I, I can't remember his name for the life of me, but the... The chubby guy in, in Total Drama, they have the same uh, English voice actor, which is kind of funny. I, d I didn't watch Total Drama as a kid, so I I started watching it. Bakugan is a game where players start with there we a go. of cards and three Bakugan. Your goal is to win three gate cards. First, each player takes a gate card from their deck and puts it on the battlefield. Okay. There we go. There's at least some mechanical knowledge. There's no lore knowledge that they've given us yet, but... 
Uh, one thing that you will notice is that the color that the card lights up is um, the color is the attribute that that person plays with. So his was black, so he plays with darkness. Gate cards do three things: boost your G power, change the rules of battle, and decide which type of battle you'll play. <laughs> I guess I don't- oh wait, you never get to choose what your first turn is for some reason. At least I don't think you do. I don't know. Let's try throwing and landing on a gate card. You know, this makes a lot- I think that they- okay, so we have a Juggernoid card. Juggernoid is a type of Bakugan, that's a character card, which means that if we throw a Juggernoid on that card, then it will get the boost twice so if I I want to aim for that card I have a Juggernoid, a Soros, and a Serpentoid. I'm going to take the Juggernoid, I'm going to power throw it so I throw it over Suji's card and I am going to do that and release there. I did a little bit of um of training before I hopped in just so I could figure out how to do it on PS2. Uh, after you throw it, that little bar that popped up, that little bar that popped up is how much energy I have to move around with him before he just stops in place. So on different maps, they'll be designed differently, and we can get like bonuses and stuff based on where we move. I'm going to view his turn. You can skip his turn. I probably will in the future a bit, but not right now. Oh wait, he's some Terra? You can shoot at an opponent's Bakugan. Eh, I don't feel like shooting at him. I don't... Like, I could, like, bam, but... Alright, let him land on the space. We are going to have a fight. His Saurus is has 10 more G power than I have. G power is just the basic power points. Um, I don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh, but I think that they have, like, power system in Yu-Gi-Oh. Literally, it's just higher number wins. Uh, in normal Bakugan. There's his Saurus. Don't like that guy. And there's our Juggernoid. Our good old tur Turtle Boy. So once both land on a gate card, gate card opens. Each gate card has a G power boost that gives Bakugan extra G power based on their attribute. It's added at the start of the battle. Okay, thank you, Dan. Um, so, like I said, this card is a Juggernaut, which means that we got the 110 boost for... You can't really see the card there. I can't even see the card there. Oh, but you can see it. You can see it, um, down. So, we get the 110 twice, which leads us to gain 220. He gets the Subterra one, because he's Subterra, so he only gets 50. Um, in a normal Bakugan, like, real-life one... You can use an ability card right before a battle begins. If you play the right card, you can really help your Bakugan. So in a real life battle, it would just be whoever has the higher G power after you're done playing ability cards and stuff. However, this is a video game, so it doesn't just end there. Um, it's a leap ahead. During a battle, 50 plus G power for each gate card your opponent's won. During the battle, 60 plus, 50 plus, okay. Uh, the colors of your ability cards mean they do different things in theory. In this, in this, in this game, I don't think as much because, like, I think reds in real in the real card game are more before you throw your Bakugan. Yeah. Shooting battle level one. So, from my experimenting with this, there's gonna be like a wheel, and I have to like push the joystick in the direction and press R2 to shoot uh, our chaos attribute. So, like, yeah. Uh, and then it, there's occasionally w one that pops up that means that you can claim everything on the board. I don't know if it pops up in level one or not, though. Um, it's just kind of a pure yellow, and it's sometimes kind of hard to spot around all the um, subterra. But yeah, so that's how they add a game mechanic to it instead of just... Uh, instead of like the Pokemon trading card game, the game, that's how they make this a game instead of just doing it like they did where it's just you play the card game. Which is... I, I enjoy it. Um... Nice job! You won and now you get a gate card! 
Okay, we won. So, uh, that little one next to my name means I have one out of the three one gate cards, one that I need to win to win. Uh, I think we're gonna throw Serpenoid here. I did not, um, I did not. Actually, I think I'm gonna let this one run out so I can show y'all another mechanic. I don't have to steer him the whole way. I don't know why I did that. I don't have to steer till it runs out. It's just until he stops. Um. Ah, oh, I was trying to show off. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Um. I was I was trying to show something off, but we'll have to later. So we landed on his card. So we can't check what his card is until until he lands on it, or I guess I land on it a second time, which it may do that in this tutorial. I don't know. I don't know, honestly. Um, I can't remember the last time I played this. I'm just not going to shoot it see what he does. Okay, so it's doing this tutorial. Got it. So... There we go. Shuji missed! Try to get another backer gun on the same car. So, um I don't actually know how the rules worked in real life. Uh but in this game, if you get two on the same card, it's called a double stand. And it means you just immediately take the card. I can't remember if in the game or not if there's more than one card. Uh if you can just move the Bakugan to another card, I can't remember if that's a thing or not. Um, it may be a thing in the game. Where you can just say, move it to another card instead of taking the card. But, yeah. I'm gonna skip his turn this time. Okay, so he landed- I like the little skybox there. <laughs> he landed a Juggernaut on his card. Okay. So, I could aim for my card, which is a lightning gate, so each Ventus and Chaos gains 100 extra. However, if I do that, then he could just aim to get uh, a second one on his. So what I'm going to do here is change it to a power shot, and I think I'm going to take my... Okay. <laughs> take my Juggernoid, get this at full power, and throw it right at his Juggernoid. That is called a spear attack. spear attack. Spear attack, not spear. Spear attack. Where you just throw it hard at them and it takes down some of your G power. Some some attributes have like a special or all attributes have a power shot, but some of them just increase that. And so they can literally knock the opponent off by doing so much damage, and they just claim the card. Um I don't know I don't remember what the Chaos one does. What is this? A Bakugan used by the player with the most gate cards. I get that's a tutorial, but that's just a dumb card to play. Um, I guess we can play these. Okay, does he have another ability card? Because if it gets him ahead of us, then I will play this one. Okay, unfortunate. So we're just going to play this. Uh, we're going to play this and we're going to play the other one. Oh, you... It won't even put him above me. <laughs> okay, we just activated two ability cards. Um, I haven't played the actual like real version in so long. I can't remember if I'm getting stuff right or not. Increase G power by quickly moving left and right. Okay. So... <laughs> I am sitting here just spinning. And I don't know if that's a- that seems like a very good strategy based on how much I'm going up. Okay. I just kind of was spinning them instead of- because I- I lost that battle when I did it in, um, when I was like- because I did a match me against Suji and his brother Akira who was there, uh, as my training. And I put them on very hard and lost that, so I think the man may just be spin. That's my skills talk! And we won. Great job. That's game. <laughs> That's game. His most famous catchphrase. 
That's game. Oh. <laughs> How did you be my brother? <laughs> this isn't finished, kid. Just wait until the tournament. <laughs> You'll be sorry. And he didn't beat me, Akira. I I let him win. <laughs> nice job. You rocked. A little more practice, and who knows? We could end up as partners at the tournament Shuji was talking about. That would be awesome. But I'm just a beginner. To enter a tournament, I need a wicked Bakugan. Something like Drago. Drago is that little dragon on his shoulder. It's really if that wasn't obvious. a tight relationship with your Bakugan. Anyway, thanks, Dan. Gotta roll. Catch you later, buddy. And good luck. Huh. Okay. So we can now go to the store. Um, I think I'm just gonna make this a whole tutorial episode. This spot oh. is so cool. I want one just like this. I didn't think that he was gonna voice act that. Hi, can I help you? Hello, Alice. Wow, Alice. Do you know me? Well, not really. But I've seen you online with the other battle brawlers. You really love Bakugan, don't you? I see you looking almost every day. <laughs> you work here, right? Do you know me? I, I see you almost every day. <laughs> well, I don't battle, know why that just feels dissonant. Then you can exchange them for Bakugan and cards at this store. Got it. So I'll go find someone in the park and battle them. <laughs> Good luck. Be waiting. Oh, okay. Okay, we're back to the park. Great. Um. So I guess they're just gonna introduce characters without any real in-game explanation of who they are. Um. I may do a brief, brief character synopsis thing after no, this, so that I can go brawler. through and explain Someday. all that. Huh? What's going on? Whoa! <laughs> oh, that's, that's cool. What? I don't think I've ever played Chaos uh, in wow. this game, so. I've never seen one like this before. Where am I? Uh, planet Earth. Not in Vestroya, then? Who? Who are you? My name is Leonidas. <laughs> this is not a Leonidas one, to be clear. This is another one, but looks a lot like him. And I find that really funny. If I battle with you, yeah. I'll have the chance to defeat other Bakugan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they look a lot alike, which is kind of funny. World, I will only release my true power in these Bakugan battles. Was that a yes? Awesome. Great to meet you, partner. And we have our partner Bakugan. I know that a lot that there's a lot of people who don't like using Leonidas. Okay. 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 <laughs> We're gonna go in my room first. Um This is my room. I can edit my deck and switch out my Bakugan here. I can also view my stats and use the computer to chat online with friends. It's time to look around and relax. Okay, so, uh, I'm gonna go to collection first. Just a little bit of character introduction. Um. Oh. I, that was done. Okay. Um. This is our boy Leonidas. This is our partner Bakugan. Um. You may have recognized him from a very. Er, from the other scene that was at the in, that was in the intro. Um, he is exclusive to this game as a thing. My, I can change my. I, um, can I go here? I can change my. And so that's my info. Ranking. Okay, there we go. So, masquerade. Uh, he is bad guy. Basic. He's the bad guy of the TV show. Uh, Shun, he is, uh, 
he is the Ventus brawl, the Ventus Green Brawler for the main group of six. Dan, he is the main the main character in the Pyrus Brawler. Klaus, he is the evil Aquas slash Water Brawler. Uh, Chan Lee, she is the evil Pyrus Brawler. Runo, she is um, I think technically Dan's love interest. Questions about that throughout the show, but also the the main group of six is um, main Chaos Light Brawler. Marucho, he is the main uh, team of six Aquas Brawler. Julie is the Subterra of the of the good guys. Julio is the Chaos of the bad guys, and Comba is the Ventus of the bad guys. Uh, I'm currently ranked 999 because I have not done anything. Um, that was a lot quicker than I was planning on going through those. Um, Alice is the last person of the six who doesn't brawl, and this she runs a store. Um, I'll leave it at that. Sir, wait. Yeah. Oh, hey, we also have this. So yeah, Dan's there, Runo would be there, Marusha would be here, Shun, Alice, Julie. Um... I'm trying to see if there's a way for me to turn on subtitles in this game. I'm just, I think I'm just going to Google it really quick. <laughs> um, see, the issue with it being a TV show and you're asking for subtitles is that um is that it's a tv show so it's a japanese tv show at that so of course they're going to be like oh um of course they're gonna gonna be like oh. that's kind of cool sorry um let's see i'm trying to see it Okay, there isn't, like, a thing to turn on. Um, but yeah, all the results are going to be related to a TV show rather than... Can I? I'm going to head to the main menu, see if there's a, um, thing. See if there's a option for subtitles. I don't know what there is, but... Options. No? Okay. There is not a subtitle option. That's unfortunate. Oh, wait. I realized some of those options that we should turn off. Turn off throwing practice. That's not necessary. There we go. Okay. We don't need, we don't need no, no throwing practice. Alright, resume the story. And I'm resuming the story solely for the purpose of me saying that we are we are now um, going to end this episode. <laughs> I think technically the tutorial the turn the first tournament is a tutorial as well but we're already at about 30 minutes of me both explaining lore and playing so th this this game I loved as a kid and obviously I didn't play this form so I'm very, very excited that I finally ha got a PS2 thing working. I'm very excited that this is also on PS2 and not just PS3. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy the start of the series. Um, and I hope that you subscribe to keep up the series. Yeah, I think that's about it. Thank you all so much for watching episode one of our Bakugan series. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.